Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone Welcome to my channel or welcome back So today as you can tell by the title I'm going to be talking about this masjid that is in Chicago in, in the United States and right here I have a picture pulled up and this is just another disappointing thing to see and as you can see in the photo this is at a mosque first off the women are not wearing proper hijab they none of them zero women in this picture right here are not wearing proper hijab now moving on to this whole picture it's clearly showing free mixing now in islam there is no free mixing at a mosque there are different sections a section for women and then a section for men and if you go to islamic countries that follow the sharia okay so a country like saudi if you go into a school Typically, there'll be a girl's side and a boy's side. That is how it is supposed to be. We are not supposed to be free mixing. And second, this is a mosque. You should be wearing proper hijab. And just in your everyday life. Now, another thing. They are praying side to side, shoulder to shoulder, these brothers and sisters. This is so unacceptable in Islam. It is shameful to see something like this. I don't know if these people are Muslims or maybe they're just visiting the mosque. Whatever the case may be, this is still unacceptable and not right. This should not be happening. Women and the men should not be next to each other, especially during prayer, but in any aspect as well. And this mosque, like I said, is actually in Chicago, in the United States. And the founder of this mosque is a man who claims to be a woman. It is a transgender woman who created this mosque in the first place, who built this mosque, or whoever's in charge of it. It's a transgender woman. First off, that in itself is haram. It's a man imitating a woman. And actually, the transgender woman wears the hijab. Brothers and sisters, be careful especially my sisters you know we go to the bathroom we like to fix our hijab we want to like make wudu in the bathroom out in public you know in non-islamic countries don't do that do not do that even if it's a girl's or woman's restroom do not do not do that because you don't know who is a man, who is a girl. You you just don't know. So, do, you know, try to not make wudu in public places. Or try not to, like, take off your hijab. Even though it might be a woman's bathroom or a woman's area or whatever. Just avoid it at, at all. Just, just don't even you know, try, because we have brothers now, men, who are imitating women within the Muslim community, 
who are now wearing hijab. They are dressing like a Muslim woman. Fear Allah, Azawajal, my brothers and sisters. Fear Allah. And, you know, maybe some of these people in this image were born and raised Muslim. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing there has to be at least one or two. Or maybe none. I don't know. But even if there is just one, they should know better. And they should have stopped this. You know, maybe some of these are converts or something. They might not be totally educated on Islam yet. You know, maybe they don't know about hijab. Maybe they don't know. Men and women cannot be standing or sitting next to each other during prayer. Maybe they don't know. Because they just became Muslim. Or maybe they're just looking into Islam. Either way, this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And this is very scary. It is very scary. Because now look what is going on in the West. You know, it's not even just about LGBT, Zina not wearing proper hijab, look at, look at what's happening. And Muslims are the ones creating this environment. You know, this is getting scarier and scarier every day in this uh, uh, day and age. This is becoming out of control. And it's totally unacceptable. You know, as Muslims, we need to stand up against this. We need to say no. No, this is unallowed. This is not what a mosque should be looking like. With men and women sitting right next to each other. And not wearing proper hijab. It's very concerning, very concerning. And the founder of this mosque is a transgender woman who wears the hijab that looks like a Muslim woman. If I didn't uh, research her or him, actually, I would have never known. You know, just think you go to the masjid, you're making wudu in the woman's bathroom or in the woman's wudu area, and you don't even know the person right next to you is dressed up in an abaya, jidbab, wearing hijab, but is it's a man. It was born a man. This is scary now. This is getting very scary and concerning. And I think scholars, especially the ones that are famous on the internet, like Mufti Mank, etc. Ali Dawa, even I'm not sure if they talked about it or Muhammad Hijab. Maybe they've talked something about this. I'm not sure, but people that have a high following in Islam, I think they need to really be bringing awareness to this because I haven't seen any Muslims talking about this. I've seen, you know, reporters. In America discussing this or interviewing them whatever yeah but not Muslims themselves I think Mufti Mang someone that has a lot of followers needs to be discussing this and talking about stuff like this that is happening in the West and not only that there's also an openly gay Imam in America. This is what we're dealing with, my brothers and sisters. This is this is the you know, when we mix western ideology and feminism and LGBTQ, when we mix that all up, we throw it and this is this is what happens. This is what we get from it. No no benefit. There's no benefit. And this is the downfall that we're seeing. This is what people are doing now. People are going to the masjid 
thinking they're so holy, thinking they're something, when in reality, look at this image. This image is very concerning. And I know I keep saying that, but seriously, my brothers and sisters, we need to take these things seriously. I see multiple Muslims time and time again. I'm getting sick of it. Muslims, born and raised Muslims, writing their pronouns in their bios, supporting LGBTQ, going to these parades, supporting feminism, supporting equality, doing this and doing that. And look at the result that we get. This, this is the result. Stop following this Western ideology, brothers and sisters, stop. Because little things, just by writing your pronouns in your bio, by supporting LGBTQ, Little things like that make things big like this. This is giving false uh, information to non-Muslims and to Muslims. This is showing people that this is okay. This is how Islam is. Women and men together, free mixing. Now, no one's wearing hijab, you know? This is what we've come to now. And people want to sit here and talk about supporting LGBTQ, you know, not losing their reputation or not being canceled. Look at now what we're dealing with, brothers and sisters. This is scary now. And I also want to pull up another um, image, I guess. Um, and we've seen this with, uh, people within the Muslim community that have, um, I would say a high status, um, that are in favor of the LGBTQ community. Um, one of them so happens to be a U.S. representative, you know, Things like this, it's not worth it. It is not, not worth it. And this is what we're causing to happen now. This is what's happening now. When we start supporting, when we start uh, following these ideologies, th this is this is the outcome, you know? And also, here's another image um, I'd like to share. There's just one of them. But here's a couple. I don't know if they're married or what. But actually, this was um, an image used in the BuzzFeed News article. And they're from Canada, I believe so. And they offer a place of religion and refugee, or I don't even know, but they are a founder of a mosque. And this is the founder of a mosque, a gay couple. Is this what we want, brothers and sisters? Is this what we've been waiting to happen is this what we've been hoping and and praying for i don't think so i hope not you know and this guy the one in the purple wearing the hat he was actually doing a ted talk if i recall talking about lgbtq and basically how it's okay this 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 is okay this life he's living is okay it's fine when it's not fine it is not okay things like this should not be happening you know just because 
you commit a sin, that doesn't mean you cannot go to a, a mosque. We all commit sins. And these people want to create safe places uh, for LGBTQ people when there's no need for it. There is zero need for it. And here is why. Because one, you can be anything and be Muslim and still go to the mosque. What do I mean by that? You know, we all commit haram. We all do. That's that's how we were created. That is how we were made. In a way to be able to commit a sin or multiple sins. You know, we are not angels. But stuff like this, they are advocating for this behavior and for this lifestyle. When it's clearly unacceptable in the Quran and Hadith. And it's even scarier when there's imams acting acting like this or founders of mosque that are doing things like this because they are looked upon as the leader in the community. The one you go to for questions or resources. People look up to you. And these are the people where you were looking up to transgender women gay imams what is this brothers and sisters please muslim brothers and sisters do not tolerate this type of behavior if you see something like this educate them and most of these people don't want to be educated they know the truth they know it they know it they are just trying to change Islam to fit their desires when it's not okay it's impermissible do not let Islam become like Christianity look at Christianity with the LGBT uh, movement or lifestyle look at that and I know I made another video talking about LGBT but these are just examples of what is happening to Muslims now because of it Look at the Christians. They've accepted this whole lifestyle. They accepted this ideology. You know, I live in America and I pass by this church sometimes and there's a rainbow flag sticking right out the church promoting this LGBT, a church. And another thing, what does this have, what does your sexual preferences have to do with a mosque in general? What does it have to do with that anyways? I don't see straight people having a flag and putting it into a mosque or a church or whatever. This behavior is immoral and in, inhumane. And that other image I, I showed, it's unbelievable. Women and men standing next to their shoulder to shoulder, feet to feet. No hijab, no free mixing. What are we waiting for? What is next? You cannot change the Quran. And the Quran is preserved until the end of time. You know, we're not like Christianity where the Bible's been rewritten thousands, millions of times. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Muslims themselves are trying to change something that it's impossible to change. And Muslims are now promoting these uh, lifestyles and ideologies. And they're pushing this down our throats, making us tolerate this. 
When in reality, no, we don't tolerate this. We don't accept this. And people want to talk about gay people getting murdered in Muslim countries. Yes, there is a punishment to it in this dunya and in the akira. If you are found having intimacy with the same gender, even with the opposite gender outside of marriage, death penalty. You know, that's a severe punishment in this dunya. So imagine in the next life what the punishment would be. You know, is it really worth following our desires? Is it really worth it? And, you know, LGBT, it's very straightforward in the Quran. You know, you don't you don't have to be a scholar or a rocket scientist to be able to understand that verse in the Quran and even in hadiths. This is a very straightforward thing. It's very clear, straight to the point. It, there should be no misconception. And these people are trying to change it. They are trying to make these verses fit their narratives when it's it's not going to work you know that's what happens with liberal muslims you know living in the west things like this will happen it will happen and we need to get back to reality and these non-muslims they're loving this they're promoting this it's on the news everything they're loving this they're clapping their hands because this is what they want this is what they've been wanting. They want to change us. They want to try to change Islam. And here's another image of the founder of that mosque right here the woman or the man in the red scarf okay transgender woman and then they're in a gay relationship what is this honestly it's getting tiring having to talk about this over and over and over this is straightforward stop trying to change islam to fit your desires and needs etc this is just you know the shaitan He's loving this. He's loving this. This is what he, he likes to see. Don't, you know, and these people think they're right. They think they're Muslim. They think, you know, we're doing good things for the Muslim community. Da, 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 da. No, you're not. No. No. And this is becoming very common now. It's very common now. Where we see time and a time again, not even just, you know, in the West, even in the Middle East, even in Muslim countries, we see this. The LGBT 
the community wants to push this and they are pushing they are not you know turning their heads and going back they keep moving straight forward they're why can't us Muslims do that? Why can't we stand up against this? Stop supporting this type of behavior. There is no good that comes with things like this. These things are haram for a reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it haram for a reason. Let's take a look at this one other picture. And I know this video is already long, but let's take a look at this image now. Here we go. Here's another Muslim, apparently. The man, I believe he's from Algeria, openly gay imam. Woohoo, LGBTs raising their hands. Woohoo. Not good. Not, not good. And right next to him, a woman. Not wearing hijab. And looks like they're trying to pray next to each other. A man standing right next to a woman. They're trying to pray. Sada. This is what we've come to. This is the reality now. And nobody wants to talk. Nobody wants to stand up. They're scared. They don't want to be canceled. They don't want to lose their job. They don't want to get kicked out of school. They don't want to lose their friends. Why not? When you die, no one's coming with you in the grave. Besides your deeds. And Allah will question each and every one of us. Do not tolerate this and stand up against this type of behavior and movements you know think about our children now you know and this guy was from a muslim country with somewhat islamic moral values etc and now look it's not just in the west brothers and sisters it's not just in the west and I believe he lives in Germany now. These things are not just in the West. They're moving to Muslim countries now. And in my next video, I will be talking about Saudi Arabia's downfall. How they are losing Islamic uh, values, beliefs, etc. So stay tuned for that video. And again, don't tolerate this type of behavior. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please like and subscribe. Sana. Peace.